Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are live after 5 a.m. and it is a brisk 19 degree weather, cold hump day. Is it hump day? Wednesday? I think it's Wednesday. Is that correct? All right, it's Wednesday. And it is a special day because we are learning how to do our very first day of code blocks. Okay, how to put in. You guys remember reading about event handlers? Where we have to put in code to handle the event. So you have to put in code to handle the clicking of the camera button. You have to put in code to handle the erase button. You have to put in code to handle the undo button. You have to put in code. Okay. Does anything on here work right now? No. They're all what we call dead buttons. Okay. So we have to write event handlers. What's an event handler? It's code blocks that makes the event happen. For example, if I want to click on the camera button and take a picture, I got to write code to say, hey, camera, take a picture for me. All right? Who understands that? I know you don't have to code yet, but do you understand what I'm trying to do here today? Okay. Here's two tips that I give young programmers. Okay? Number one is role play the app. What button am I going to come in here and click on first? Camera button. You're going to come in here. This is your most important button. Okay. I'm going to open up my app. I'm going to click on the camera button. I'm going to take a picture. Where, where do I want to send the picture? No. Where am I going to send the picture to? On my screen. What's on my screen that's going to hold it? Yes, we called it CNB picture frame. Why did I call it a picture frame? So that it holds my canvas, right? My picture. My picture. Okay. And then after that, they're going to come up here and select colors. You agree with that? They're going to select red, green, blue, mystery color. Okay. Um, and then they're going to draw on the canvas. And if they don't like it, they're going to hit undo. If they really don't like it and they don't like the picture, they're going to hit delete. And then we, we're going to upgrade this on Thursday or Friday. And I'm going to show you how to do the microphone. And I'm going to show you how to share it. Okay. So, number one, role play the app. What are you going to do first, right? If you just pretend you're going to open up this app and pretend you're going to, what are you going to do first, okay? Number one, role play the app. Number two. The tip that I give everyone is that this GUI is your checklist. Okay? Does this button work here? Does the red button work? No. Does anything on here work? No. So we got to use this as a checklist. Okay? And we got to check it off. Does it work? Does it do what it's there for? Are you with me? And you just keep going until everything on that list works. Okay? Does that make sense? All right. So, like, you guys could take out your um, your engineering design paper, and when you get the camera button to work, check it off. That works. I got it. All right. Who's ready to go? All right. Here we go. We're going to go into blocks. All right. Here is my block environment. Now, let's talk about the block environment for a second. This is all your control blocks over here. Okay? Do you guys recognize anything over here on the left-hand side? Do you recognize something called BTN Red, BTN Green, BTN Blue, BTN Mystery? Yeah, what are those? Those are our buttons. That's a checklist, right? I got to get all that stuff to work. Here's my CNB pick frame. Here's my horizontal lower buttons. In my horizontal lower buttons, I have BTN Undo, BTN Erase. You guys recognize any of this stuff before? Okay. Now watch this. Let's go back up to your build-ins. Everything over here you can click on, and I want you to do that very quickly with me. Okay, click on it and scroll through here and see what's in there. Okay, it becomes a toolbox, and there's tools in there you get to use. There's your logic box, true or false, equal to. Here's your math. Let's say you wanted to do math. Where are you going to go look in? Let's say I want to add something to a number. What are you going to go look in? The math box. If you're doing something with text, you're going to look in the text box. If you're doing something with a list, I'll show you how to do these. These are more complex. I can show you how to do this. Um, colors. Are we going to use colors today? Guess where you're going to go? 
the color box. Variables. I'll show you how to use variables this year, and I love procedures. I will show you how to use a lot of procedures. Okay? I love, I love, I love procedures. If you want to do something to screen one, look into there. Go see what you can do in there. HA colors, BTN red. Okay? Anytime you want to do something to one of these, you just go click on it and you see what you can do. Who's understanding this? Who's getting it? All right. Okay, so here's my camera. What am I going to do? You think I'm going to take a picture? Uh, yeah. All right. You guys understand how to do that? Who understands how to go over there and look to see where the code blocks are? All right, here we go. What's the first thing I'm going to click on to get this app to run? The what? We just role played it. What was the first button I was going to click on? Camera button. Okay, so let's go click on our camera button first. All right, so you're going to click on BTN take pick. Everybody see BTN take pick. Okay, and I'm going to click it. So I want to drag out that click box, put it over on the right hand side. Okay, I'm going to put it up top and make me a list. Because the program is nothing but a list of instructions and we're telling the computer what to do. Thumbs up if you have the BTN tick, uh, take pick click out. All right. So who's going to who's gonna take the picture for me? No. Who takes the picture? What takes the picture? The camera. So let's go down here to camera. Hello, camera. I want you to take a picture for me. Boom. You just called the camera and took a picture. Thumbs up if you got it. Was that hard? No, that's pretty simple, wasn't it? Now, there's one thing in here you do have to learn that people don't know right away coming in as young programmers. Once you take the picture, you just took a picture and you did absolutely nothing with it. Are you with me? So now you have to do something with it. All right? So let's go back into camera. I'm gonna once you learn this once, it's pretty easy. After you take the picture, now you got to decide, hmm, what do I want to do with it? Do you want to send it to Twitter? Do you want to send it to the screen? Do you want to email it? What do you want to do? Are you with me? So go back down to your camera and pick up camera one after picture. Who's got that? All right, good. Where do we want to send the picture after we take it? To the canvas. Very good. So I'm going to go into my cam. Do you guys see how if you can say it, now I know where to go look? That's why I get you to say stuff. So go into your canvas, CNV pick frame, and you're looking for, scroll down, looking for something called set background image. There it is. Set background image. To what? What am I going to set it to? Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Here's how I teach this. You guys ever played Mario before? All right, so Mario has those coins and stuff over top of his head. And what do you do? You bounce into it and you look to see what's in there. Are you with me? Okay. Here, you need this. You need you need my GUI. Import my GUI. All right. So, do you guys see this little orange thing here? This is a variable. Okay. This is the same color as this right here. This is a variable. Anytime you see this here, hover your mouse over it. And see what's in there. You got a get image and a set image. Okay. Now let's just do some deductive thinking here. Which one of these do you think fits in here as a puzzle? Set or get? Get. Okay. So you go ahead and get the image that you just took. This is the image that you just took with the camera right here. Are you with me? And then you take that image and I want to set that image to the background image of my Canvas. Okay. All right. Okay. So we just entered into the test and debug phase, right? And I tested it and it works. Yeah. Okay. Then just refresh it and re, re scan it in again. This is all coming over wirelessly. So it's sending your images wirelessly. Sometimes they don't always come over. Yeah. You can't find it then we need to probably download that on that tablet. Just share then with your neighbor. Okay. All right, who got it to run? Did the camera work? 
Yeah, it does. Okay. Yeah, he took a picture of himself. It works. Please don't take a picture of somebody in the room because, you know, we have rules against school doing that. All right. So uh, please don't do that. Yeah. It's not connected to Wi-Fi. All right. Share with the person next to you. Your camera's not working. Scan thing on. Okay, you go to connect, um, reset. Sometimes you have to go connect, reset, and then connect AI companion. The scan comes up. Go to your connect menu and connect your AI companion. This comes up. You guys can come up and scan this in. Okay. Says air on what? Okay, we'll get it on Friday. I mean, it's okay. I can... Trust me, this code works if you put in exactly what I put in. Can I get a thumbs up by somebody who agrees that it works? Okay, you can't have color in here, background color, because we're not setting the background color. What are we setting? The background image, okay? All right, let's go on. Are you ready? What happens next? Let's go. So our camera button works. Now, now, so they click on this button. We put a picture here. Now what should they do? What are they going to click on next? Allie? The color buttons. All right, so let's go get all our color buttons to work. Are you ready? Now, I'm going to ask you to just sit here and watch this because I'm going to go really quick. And if you're looking down, looking up, looking down, looking up, you're going to miss it. All right, I'm going to show you how easy this is to code. Are you ready? Okay. So I really wanted to get a bucket of popcorn out. All right. Get your favorite drink on the left-hand side. Sit, sit back. Drink your drink. Okay. Put a little popcorn in your mouth and watch the movie as I do this. Okay. You ready? All right. Here we go. I'm going to do red first. Ready? I'm going to click on red. When I click on red, I want to set the paint color. Where is the paint color at? Yep, it's in colors. So I'm going to go to colors and I'm going to go get red. Guess what? Doesn't fit in there. Where do we actually paint at? The canvas. Very good. Do you guys see how if you can say this, what am I painting on? You can figure this stuff out. So now I go into my canvas and I'm looking for something that changes the color. Am I setting the background color? No, because then the whole thing would go red. You don't want that. Oh, look at that. Set the paint color. Okay. Now watch this. Do you think blue and green are going to be the same? Watch this. Right click. Duplicate. I'm going to change this to green. I'm going to click on and change this to green. I'm going to duplicate it again. And I'm going to change this one to blue. And I'm going to change this one to blue. Did everybody see how I copied and pasted that? Okay. Do you see how quick that is? Okay. Everybody thinks like, wow, you know, how did you do a million lines of code? Guess what? If you have a million lines of code in your code, you didn't do a million lines of code. You probably did 250,000 lines of code, and you probably copied and pasted it four times to get a million lines of code. Does that make sense? Coding is a lot about just doing one step, getting it to work, and then copying and pasting and getting 10 others to work, okay? Now I want you to go back and do exactly what I just did. Ready? Go. Can anyone guess on pick out something in here that you think is going to help us paint? Yes. Yeah, you're very close. But what's going to draw the line? Yeah, you're right. You're right, Morgan. That's part of it, but it's not the whole thing. What? Draw a point. We could draw a point. If you, it would draw a point. What are you going to paint with? Remember I said you got to role play your app, right? Act like you're holding your app up in front of you. What are you going to paint with? We don't, is there a brush? Where, where are you going to get a brush from? Where are you going to get a brush from? Do we have a brush? 
No, what's our brush? Our finger. Everybody put one finger in the air. You're going to use your finger as your brush. We don't have a real literal brush, right? Okay, use your finger as your brush. What are you going to do with your finger to paint? Touch it. Okay, it's also called a drag. Okay, we're going to drag our finger. So does everybody see the drag event? Yeah. Okay. You had to think a little bit there, right? What are you going to do? You're going to drag your finger. Morgan, now Morgan's right. Morgan, what are we going to draw? Say it, Morgan, what you said before. A line. Morgan is right on target. She was right on target there. We're going to draw a line and put the line purple box in there. This is a procedure. Okay, see how this is a procedure here? This is a procedure, and I'm going to draw a line. All right? Just got that. Go to your canvas, get the pick frame drag. Go to your canvas and draw a line. Okay? Now, remember all these orange buttons up here? I said it's like Mario coins. Let's go get them. Don't use the start X because it will that's the point you entered, and it'll do like a pinwheel. Okay? You don't want that. So you want to go from previous X. That's your first X1. You want to go previous Y. Get your previous Y. Current X. Get the current X. That's X2. Current Y. Go get the second Y. All right? And let's have some fun in here. You guys want to have some fun? Who said we could draw a point? Who said that? We could draw a point. Get us, guess what else we could draw? When you drag your finger, you could also draw some circles. Let's go have some fun and drag and draw some circles too. Okay? So at your previous X... You're going to draw a circle. Go ahead and get your X, get your Y. What's your radius going to be? Aha. Let's go have some fun here. Radius, go to the math box. Are you with me? How about random circles? Wouldn't that be cool if you did some random circles flying all over the screen? Okay. Watch this. So I'm going to go into my math box. This is why I want to teach you how to do math. And I want to do a random integer from 0 to a, 1 to 100. Okay, now, if I have a radius that is 100, what's the diameter? Someone's got to think in here. 200, you're right. Because remember, the diameter is twice the radius. So how big's the screen? Remember I taught you how big the screen was the other day? 300. This is going to be a humongous circle here. Are you with me? So I'm just going to say, hey, do a random integer from 1 to 25. That means the largest um, circle is going to be 50 diameter. But it's going to randomly pick. It's like rolling the dice. You guys know what rolling the dice is? You randomly get a number from 1 through 6. So it'll start drawing random integers on your screen. Let's go ahead and try that. All right, so we got some stuff to work. We're going to go back into our designer. Uh, we got red, green, and blue to work. I'm going to save mystery button till tomorrow. That'll be an upgrade button. Are you with me? Uh, what about undo and clear? You want to do the undo and clear button? Okay, so let's do undo and clear so we can erase what we just did in case we don't like it. Then we don't have to restart the app, okay? You guys always want to be able to restart your apps. I had one of my best students turn in an awesome app for their final project last quarter. Awesome game. <laughs> couldn't start the app, but couldn't start the game back over. Are you with me? You got to be able to reset your and start your game. So it's so important anytime you build an app to reset it. Okay. So let's go hit the undo button. So when I click on the undo button, I want to clear my canvas. Are you with me? Okay. I can't, it's going to undo everything, folks. I don't know how to just get it to undo the last thing that I did. Okay, we don't have that power right now. So, um, what you're going to do in here is go to your canvas and clear it. 
call CNV pick frame dot clear. What do you think dot clear is going to do? <laughs> clear the cams. Okay. Now, we can do an erase button. I, I, these are these buttons are kind of confusing to me. Undo and, and erase. So, uh, so I'm going to click on this button, and then to me, my understanding is here is we're going to get rid of the picture. Are you guys with me on that? We're going to clear the picture. So when you hit erase, um, we're going to go to our canvas, and I'm going to go back down to my um, image background image. Set the background image to. And then I'm going to go get a text and go up to your text, and you're going to see quote, quote, okay? And when you set it to quote, quote, it should go to nothing. What picture do you have in there if there's nothing in there? Okay. So that should, whatever picture you took, that picture you took of yourself should no longer be in there. Okay, let's see if it works. All right, we got we got five minutes left. Let's do the mystery button. So we got we're gonna finish this button up here. By the way, I need to go up here and give this a nice button. So image, upload, choose a file. There it is. Okay. Okay, there's my mystery button skin. It's cool. You're gonna pick from all these different rainbow colors. Are you with me? All right, so here we go. So we're going to go back up here to my colors. And I'm going to go click on the mystery button. And I'm going to put it over here. Okay? I like to keep my stuff in order. All right? So when I'm working on my buttons, I'm going to click on my button. Are you in? Are you good? You getting all this code? All right. So if you go into your colors box, what do you want to give it and make a color? Okay, so I'm going to duplicate this and drag this over here, but we don't want it to be green. We're going to go ahead and make our color. Okay, you guys with me on that? Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm running out of time. I, I want to take my time and do this tomorrow. Okay. Because this is going to be very important. We need to make variables in here. And I only have two minutes left. All right. So uh, I'm going to throw this away. By the way, you can just drag it into the trash can. That's how you delete stuff. Are you with me? Or you can leave it there and we'll do it tomorrow. Are you with me? I'm going to save that for tomorrow because I want to take my time. i got to show you how to do variables. All right. Great job today. Who learned something? Was coding as hard as you thought it was? Who thought it was pretty easy? Okay. There's something in our lesson now. It's called problem decomposition. Problem decomposition is where you break a problem down into smaller parts. In order for you to code, you don't have to be a genius. You don't have to be super duper smart. All you got to do is be good at one thing, and that's called problem decomposition. Break the problem into small parts. And that's what the app actually does for you, because we actually work on the red button just by itself, then the blue button. You know, you're working on one little button at a time and making it work. And that's called problem decomposition, and that's what we're learning. And that's what it takes to be a good programmer. Okay? Hope you learned something today. Keep calm and code on.